Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. It's something today we're gonna to be looking at the Invader Zim dating sim. I actually played this two years ago, but I don't really think that I did the game any justice. This is like one of those fangirl POV games where you get to date anyone you want. Well, only Zim and Dib, actually. So if you ever wanted to date a 13 year old boy from Earth or a 100 year old Urkin alien, today's your chance. Or rather, today's my chance because I unfortunately downloaded this game and we're gonna play it now. Being that this is a Rimpy game, there are no preferences so let's just get to it. Welcome to the very first and hopefully last Invader Zim dating simulator with the most faithful recreation of the classroom from the show. It's so faithful in fact that YouTube copyright striked my video two years ago. This shouldn't exist. And then why'd you make it? There's a lot of ideas in the world that should never come to fruition like, you know, murdering your boss, but now it does anyway. Thanks a lot. Pick someone to take to the school dance. All right, so we're gonna go with Zim because he's the main character of the show. And I, I just think, I think every fangirl loves that character for some reason. Yes, eh, who are you? What do you want with me? I'm great at voice acting. Can't you tell? <laughs> I could either say you're green. I don't recommend saying that to Zim. He kind of gets a little angry when you mention that. Nothing and just saying hi. Mm, sure, that's that's all you're doing. Okay. And I've noticed you around school. You're a very attractive person. Zim's not a person, but okay. Um, That's a bit forward too. We're just gonna go with the middle option. Hi. Zim, the master of few words. Is that all? I have work to do. Schoolwork, because I'm human. Sure you are, buddy. Do you need help with your schoolwork? Of course you are, in a very attractive view. Oh, do you really? You people, is that really where you want to go first? You sure about that? You look a little green. There's some people out there that are green, right? Maybe if they have a really bad disease and they need to see a doctor right away. Let's pick the middle option. Let's, let's throw things off a little bit. Well, of course I am. Very much so. Yes, me, attractive. Oh, you're still here. I'm not going anywhere. Um, yeah. That's how you read a dot dot dot, by the way. I don't know why you look so scared. It's not like I did anything. I mean, it's not like I said you're attractive or anything. That's the longest silence I've ever seen. This got really awkward. Uh, well, I could try more flattery. Or you could get the hell out of the classroom and stop being weird around an alien. Your eyes are not... <coughs> Apparently his eyes are so nice, I'm choking up about him. You adorable little monster. Look at you. I could eat you right up. I think every fangirl would probably click the middle one because, oh boy, they get weird. Let's not do that. I don't want to scare off this alien. I want to get a date. You know what I mean? Let's just say... Your eyes are nice, I guess. Thanks, I made them myself. I hear a lot about you. Good things. All good things. <laughs> Why are you being so creepy about saying that? Zim looks as if he thinks this might be too good to be true. It is. I'm not a real person. Well, I'm a real person, but my character's not a real person. So I, the real person, I'm playing a fictional person, trying to get a fictional person, but I'm trying to pretend it's real. <laughs> Like when you uh, stole Dib's trachea. That was awesome. I don't think he ever stole that. It was. He looks happy, I think. Is that a good look? It's not often I come across a human who can appreciate me. Buddy, everyone who watched the show appreciates you. I have a horrifying skin disease, you know? It's to do with my kidneys. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what fresh bull crap is this? We got so far, and then you're just gonna ruin it with that one. Okay. Sam and organs aren't the best combination. Unless it's a squealy spooch, because he loves talking about that. But let's just go with the middle one. You know, there's a school dance tonight. Yes. Disgusting. All those humans bumping around, doing things. I'm sure a normal, attractive guy like you has a date date you know someone to go with all the other humans in my class have someone in elementary school yeah and i sure do smell inoffensive i suppose i can tolerate it for a few hours you will accompany zam to the dance so i don't really feel like blowing out my vocal cords so i'm just gonna go i say that and then i hurt my throat oh what is that noise and it's called a fangirl uh you'll get used to it never mind that was normal i'm normal goodish ending you went to the dance with Zim. You two sat in the corner of the room all night. Of course we did. And made awkward small talk. And he didn't give you a ride home. So you had to hitchhike. Great, great guy, Zim. Okay, thank you. Thank you a lot. But your organs are all intact. Okay, fair enough. Okay, see what happens if you ask someone else. Okay, dib. Big head much. How are you today? Seen something crazy, crazy boy. Oh, I wouldn't recommend saying something like that to... Dib. Uh, hi, Dib. Um, I'm not going to throw anything at you or anything. I think everyone wants to throw something at Dib, honestly. Or my name is Kara. Uh, what, from Undertale? Because that's a bit weird. Let's just go with the top one. What do you want? Uh, you? <laughs> Very forward again. Or just to talk. Or there's a nest of vampire You know, just a casual nest of vampire babies in my closet, you know? Well, I don't really have a closet if you can see. That's, that's literally all my clothes right there. But, you know, I might have a few vampire babies somewhere. Just to talk. About what? Huh? Huh? Let's just go with that code is really cool. Where'd you get it? This? 
I made it out of a Halloween vampire cape and some felt. It intimidates hostile, extra normal entities. Okay, Zach Baggins. That's adorable. Are you patronizing me? No, I, I like you. I was wondering if I could take you to the dance tonight. Oh, that went well. Huh, well, I wasn't planning on going to the dance, but I don't really have any other plans, so... Wait, this isn't gonna end with pig's blood or anything like that, is it? Why would that ever happen? Who's using pig's blood at an elementary school to do a prank? Well, all right, but if you make one wrong move, I'm ditching you. He would do that, wouldn't he? That didn't come out right. Good ending. You go to the dance with Dib. By the end of the night, he's talking your ear off about his studies and is actually smiling. Isn't that a change of pace? Good deal. What is this, deal or no deal? Okay, I guess we only have Gur. You can't date Gur. Damn it. Gur is my spirit animal. Okay, sudden Jonin. Sweet jumping chili bean. What is this? What did you do? What are you looking at? I am Jonin Vasquez and I do what I want. Reality has seized a function. I don't know about you, but I, I think reality's. I think reality's doing just fine. Gur. <laughs> It just won't let you date Gurgs. Who dates robots? You know what I mean? Well, anyways, that was Invader Zim Dating Sim. It was not a very long experience, but it was definitely a weird one. So if you'd like to play this game, I'll link it in the description, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.